yes, the open space. I lost uh, that. That distracted me. Okay. Three, two, one. Ah, yes. <coughs> All right. One take. Adam on the fly. Three, two, one. Ah, yes, the open space. Such a realm of possibilities. Such room for development and dreams and prosperity and all of that. Never know what exciting adventures may w wait on this. Oh, who am I kidding? We all know I'm going to mess this up. I mean, if the rest of the city is any telling, um, yeah, we're definitely messing this up. Brace yourselves. Hello everyone, this is Morgoth the Barbarian here, and welcome to the ninth episode of our City Skylines Play Million Dollar Playthrough. <clears throat> Where things just keep getting more exciting by the day here. And our with our goal of one million dollars of monthly income in sight, things definitely seem to be looking up. Or, at least that's what I've been told. I mean, for starters, at least we're not opening this episode with, uh, you know, half the city on its deathbed. <laughs> so right then and there, we've already got an improvement. But anyways, the last time we were here, we got started on a brand new exciting project. Here in good old Mickey Land. Or, as I like to call it, that place that totally is not going to get us uh, our city sued by Disney. No, not at all. We're just going to pretend like that's never happened. And, of course, we got a few more garbage processing things set up. But to, And we also built up our college as well, which actually reminds me of something. But today, we're going to focus on this space. We're going to create a brand new suburb, or at least start it, in this whole vicinity. From here to here. And we're going to fill it with plenty of people here, so that we can get our city growing, and that we can find, more importantly, unlock the rest of the map, and then start, you know, causing things that I'm totally not going to be up to any good. So, if you like being up no, no good, or I mean, in like what you're seeing, also hit the like and subscribe buttons. Much appreciated if you do. And before we get to this side of the river, let's address this side of the river first. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, my college reached level 5, right? This happened while I wasn't really looking, or wasn't paying attention. Oh, it did, alright. It did. Okay, so let's... Let's really crank this up a little bit. We've got a school of tourism and travel, which is going to probably help us. A police academy, which, oh, that's probably going to be useful, just in case, you know, people start converting to, um, getting any ideas about anti-capitalism. Cough, cough. So, let's make this happen. What? You never know. We gotta make squash these ideas before things get out of hand over here. Um, oh boy, this pathway is in the way. Well, I suppose we can always build a new one. See, look at that, a police academy. So now, just in case our citizens get any ideas they shouldn't, we now have a way to squash that. Excellent. Love it when a plan comes together. Uh, I mean, I'm totally not up to no good at all. No. Um. Now, as much as I like college sports, which is a good money maker, like the next person, there are just some things that are more important. So, no more aquatic center. Instead, we need to build some um, more important stuff. Like, for instance, School of Engineering. That's important. And of course, 
A nice little school of tourism and travel. Those are both going to be important, believe me. That, that's way more important than anything we could come up with. Um, suppose a media lab would be nice, because you know... Our citizens just might get random ideas they shouldn't. And so we need to squash that before it's too late. You know. <laughs> we don't want anybody to get any ideas around here, okay? That's not how this works. I mean... Wouldn't y'all? <laughs> uh, we'll throw in a beach volleyball club. Let's see what else we can do here. Throw in another library over here. And then I mentioned we need to get some more paths. Let's see where we can put this. So we had to delete that path. That is definitely not where we're putting it. That is. Alright, that'll work. Oh, you did. I did the thing again. You know what thing I'm talking about. Yeah, the one where I don't, like, water anything, you know. <laughs> there we go. We fixed that problem. What else can we do here? Um. What? I gotta increase ticket prices, because this is just nuts. We'll throw in some more budget. You know what? No, we're not gonna increase the cheerleading budget. If you don't cheer, that's not your problem. So. <laughs> ah, man. We got all of this. And now that we've actually, you know, gotten a full-blown college, we really don't need to do anything more with this, so I say we have an advertising campaign and some sponsorship deals. Sponsorships mean money, which in turn is going to help our bottom line a lot because I've been getting some complaints from the shareholders lately as to why this number just continues to be, you know, up there. You know what? We're going to give research grants for hospitality from now on. And also, you know, we've got enough works now, so let's decrease that budget. Alright, hold on. There we go. Okay, there we go. we got to make sure our budget is in line here. And that, I believe, should be the bulk of what our college is going to be. I'd, I'd put in a, one more, like, sports arena, but I don't think I have the room for it. No, I don't. So, no football! Dang it. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Done already. Okay. That's nice. So, anyways, that takes care of the college. So, come with me over to this side of the map, shall we? So the main goal is to try to get 80,000 people in here. And obviously, the next goal is 65, but in order to do that, we need to build a suburb from scratch here. We've already got the highway needed, so this is all ready to build. We just need to build it as is. There is the matter of this train line that snakes across the um, riverfront over here. That's definitely going to be in consideration for how we do this. We can, we're not getting rid of that train line as that's the main entrance and exit. Furthermore, I put in another one here. Inevitably, once we get the next tile, and I already know where it's going to go, hint over here. We're going to be linking these two up, and then that's going actually going to help with a lot of things. Especially with traffic in this area, because, um... Well, this is just bad, but there's nothing we can do about it until the pressure off of these cargo train bays are alleviated. With the gold being the trains being used to haul things out. It's kind of the main purpose. But none of that can be done until we get our population up. So, yeah, let's just start over here first. As I mentioned at the very beginning, I want our population to sit inside of this little highway belt. Outside of it, it's fair game for whatever industries and airports and other shenanigans, you know, we feel like having. Because that's how we roll around here. So, that being said... 
Let's start off with the basic centerpiece of this. A nice little roundabout to get us started. And we will use a small roundabout. Because we don't, I don't want to overdo this. But I also want it to connect it to the highway too. Because this is going to be our main way in and out. There we go. Alright. Normally I would fast forward for this, these kind of things. But not this time. Wait, do I have a... Ah, okay, that, that's fine. So this is kind of the main roundabout over here, and actually... Um... Introduce these. First order of business, let's connect it to the main highway, first of all. Because if we don't connect it to the main highway, this is not going to work. Um, and there is another train line over there. Suppose we can have this being kind of like a Lakeshore Parkway in kind of a way. It'll start right here or so. So I'm actually going to build this out. And we will make a note of this come later. It, we're not going to do anything with it right now. We'll make a note of any... We're just going to focus on this side of the highway. This side we'll deal with later on or something. So with that being said... Let's just build out. This will connect to this highway, but as you can see, there's nothing we can do about it. And there won't be until some time. So we're just going to build everything out. Just have it all stretched. This too... Yeah, that's a little bit too close to that highway exit, so we'll just leave it like that and maybe have another road go across. But you get the general idea. This road will probably run... There will probably be another road running alongside of this. We might have to tunnel it underneath or build it under if we can. That's perfectly fine. Again, the train line is going to have to come in play. What's actually funny is we couldn't do it... Do like a... Um, passenger train rail later on. Again, we still have this space to operate, excuse me. But I don't know how we're going to deal with it later. That's still to be determined. So anyways, we just got to finish connecting this up here. Like such. And then we're basically all set and ready to go. And then we can build however we want here. Again, we are not going to be able to get to our desired people amount until, you know, we're all set in there. That should be sufficient enough here. So, this is the main highway here. So, I was thinking this is going to be mostly residential, but we'll put in a few little small office parks. I don't want full-blown industry. Otherwise, if we do that, it's not going to work out too well. So... Put in yet another road to go this way. Extend both of these guys out. It's kind of another main road. And then somewhere along here is going to be more another feeder road over here. Say, like, right here. So that kind of gives you the idea of what I'm planning on doing for the main roads. And then we'll consider this kind of the, the whole city center. The suburb center, I should say. This isn't exactly the city, but it's fine. So now at this point, try and figure out what I want. <clears throat> the main idea being is that there's going to be a main commercial drag along this. This whole line. Uh, I'll build it up to this. This we're just not going to bother with at the time being. And then that small little office park will probably be somewhere in this whole vicinity right here. So say, like, right there. And then we just build it as close to the highway as we can. And do it like so and then if needed we could build another office park right in here 
And then, of course, I have to put in all the standard grids and what have you, so... That's basically what the um, entire purpose of this is, so... That being said, I am going to throw up the grids here. And cue the part or in the video or I just fast forward through all of this. And there we go! Everything is all set and ready to pretty much go here. You can tell where the city border kind of influenced things a little bit, but generally speaking, this is kind of the basic idea that we've got going for this area. So, that being said, let me start filling in the pieces here. We'll have some, as I mentioned before. We'll have a few blocks of offices, say, right around here. We'll have another large swath of offices about right here, which can expand. We'll have a nice little commercial strip. No, not like that. Along this little main drag over here. And actually, I could... I'll do it right up till there. There's another one running along this one. Kind of our main little thoroughfare here. There we go, because we got to have shops. And then residential areas. This is the big one. Um, where to start these? Oh, this block looks promising. Okay, there we go. I'll throw in the schools and other stuff as time goes along. I know, this looks like a mess at, on the surface initially, at least initially, but it's all going to fill in eventually. So as time rolls on, and speaking of time, I'll start speeding this up. Wow, we're already 15, almost 15 game years in? Uh-oh. And I said this would be 50. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting dangerously close there to the end. Ah, I knew this would happen. Hang on a minute. But generally, that is kind of the idea here. And then as time goes on, we'll throw some more stuff in. Now hold on for just a minute because we actually, well, not sure, well. All right, hang on a minute. I, 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 lost in all this is the fact that I kind of have my city discombobulated all over the place, but generally speaking, that would be par for the course for me, I guess. So hold on. Oh, don't worry. The power lines will disappear as time goes on, so I'm not really worried about it. There we go. Just as long as everybody's got electricity and water, we're good. So far, some so good. Oh, I forgot one thing. Sewage. That's right. I put some more sewage over here, and I totally forgot to hook it up to our network. That's that's brilliant. Brilliant job, me. Actually, we can turn these bad boys on. Oh, good. As long as we're still prestigious here, that, that's all that matters. There we go. Turn on a couple more uh, drain pipes, which are totally not water pipes whatsoever. We're, we're not making that mistake again. Not like we already done that. No, not at all. But anyways, yes, that's the gist of that. So we'll let that grow up a little bit. It's going to take some time. You may notice there's a slight little space. Actually, 
I'm gonna fill that in. I was just gonna say, there's a slight little space. This could probably be used for things like parks and other things like that. Or like future, other future developments that might come about. For the time being, we'll just leave it as is. Though it wouldn't help hurt if I, say, were to fill this in, actually. I didn't really finish this. Oops, that's not what's supposed to happen. There we go. Ah, there's a... That's the game. That's fine. And then just have one cut right down the middle here. There we go. There we go. Obviously, as we get more tiles, we can finish this whole area, but that's the general idea here. Now we've got like several intersections all over the place, but I'm not too worried about it. Actually, I didn't really... <laughs> Turns out I didn't really finish this all the way, but I couldn't really do that. Okay, there we go. We'll have to leave the rest as is for the time being until we can actually finish everything here, so... We'll let this grow up a little bit. Speaking of garbage, I noticed... Couldn't help but notice we were running... These things really love to, um, fill up now, don't they? Maybe another waste transfer faculty might be in the cards over here. Especially for these areas that have more people to them. There we go. So that was phase one, and phase one is going to take some time. Phase two involves this right here. As in, basically, this part of the city right here. So, I would like to build this up a little bit, generally speaking. So if I start building the road, and this is going to run perpendicular right toward next to our rail tracks here. We really don't have much of a choice. I mean, it's got to run next to our rail tracks or else we're not going to make this work. Um, hmm. This is a little interesting. Now, I want a road to go across this way, but we're not going to deal with that just quite yet. So, maybe right around here. We're going to have to build a tunnel underneath because of the train tracks and the highway. We can't, don't want to complicate things a little bit. And then just build that right to the border, basically. And then, in turn... Well, maybe not that street. This street probably be a better candidate, so... What I will do... Is build that. And kind of have it perpendicular to our tr to the um, street here. Train tracks, I should say. And the thought being is that that could be where a potential train station kicks in. I'm not sure if I want to do it just yet, but we shall see. I certainly extend these out as far back as I possibly can, like so, and then... Oops. Kinda need those. There we go. So there, and then... This road will inevitably come across the train tracks and go there. I no, I wouldn't do that build it directly across, but I have no choice. And then the other thing we need to do is build another road that kind of services this whole area. So let's say we build it like such, or in this case, build it underneath. Except then I kind of screwed my power lines up. Hold on. There we go, because we need sewage over there. Wait, is this a bridge? Oh, I screwed up. Ah, uh, how do I keep doing this? I did this with the theme park, too. Come on. Come on, Morgoth. Get your head in the game over here. Yeah, see, it's four meters up. Uh, nice try. Get, get your head in the game over here. Come on. You, got, you do better than that. Uh, 
Ah, and once again, the train line has to be a factor. Fortunately, I can just do this. And call it a day. I, we're going to have to live with that little intersection, I'm afraid. And once again, we're making sure I don't have any sewage for this area. <laughs> Jeez. That's what you get for not paying your sewage bills. There we go. Everything's fine. Oh, I almost cut off. That was the main power line, too. Jeez. Good job. I'm, I'm like, cutting off the main power line. That's, that's a brilliant strategy. Old strategy. Let's see if it works for him. Not. Anyways, as for the um, intersections over here, we'll do, like, a little tea box over here. Or... It's going to be very close. Now, this is a little bit complicated over here. Traffic and Fury is going to want to go this way. Um, what? I'll do this. We'll f we can think about this later on. Do like a little tea box over here. thought is that, there we go, traffic can go this way, can go this way, but it can't necessarily go this way. Thank you for reminding me to save the game. Always save your game, kids. And then as for the remainder of this, I mean, the train line does kind of complicate things a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean, of course it does. But we can always work around it if need be. I'm gonna do is kind of build like a small little main road to go like such. I may have to tunnel it underneath the highway, and by that I mean absolutely. So basically, like that. Not a fan of building underground, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And just build this along the coast. We're not going to build anything on this side of the highway since this is mostly restricted for industry. In the future. Um, um, uh oh. Hold on. We have a problem. I was doing so good until I was rudely interrupted. By uh oh here are we doing this again? Oh dear. Oh dear, there's always something in this city. I have apparently some kind of sick obsession with getting my president sick. I don't know why. <laughs> I honestly get Okay, that's not the issue this time around, thank God. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I think I see the problem, and it's, this is just... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Game, you are picky as... You know. I put it next to a recycling system, and it thinks I'm poisoning everybody now. You've got to be kidding me. How is that... Okay, did that do the trick? So, apparently, if you put water towers right next door to recycling centers, it's not a good idea. Okay, just so we're all clear on that. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, long story short, because I put it next to the recycling center, it... Oh, dear. Okay, anyways, we're going to pretend like that never happened at all. My goodness. Speaking of garbage, I should probably put at least, like, one recycling center in this vicinity. Fact, let me do. Hang on, I'll put it in like a small little service road over here and just put that in. I see the watering tower. I'm not gonna make the same mistake as I did last time. There. In fact, you know what? I'll even do myself a huge favor. You go there. 
There. So there's no debate over whether or not that'll poison my city. Okay. My goodness. So knowing me, the game, it'll say, oh, you're poisoning your city. No, that's not how this works. All right, there we go. Sometimes you just got to fill in the holes. Anyways. That didn't sound wrong at all. Anyways, moving on. Um... Um, so yeah, so basically that's going to be the general idea as I was saying here. Kind of make this, we're going to have to keep the train line in mind. So we may be building some service things or I may be building this dangerously close to this. I'm not really sure. I know we're kind of between a rock and a hard place. Unfortunately, that's the break. So we'll come back to that later. This thing. So I mentioned earlier, there's probably gonna be a there's gotta be a bridge over this. Well, let's do that. There we go. I suppose building a nice little parkway across would be the, the way to do this here. Are you on, on something? Hold on. No, you're you're at ground. Okay. I was wondering why. We're just going to build a parkway, a little, nice little four-lane road to run concurrent to this. <clears throat> and just like earlier, we got to build it underneath, too. Again, I am not a fan of building underneath, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do in this game. And then, just like earlier, we're going to have this run concurrent to the shore. Well, kind of. Well, almost. And by that, I mean the right there. And then stop. Of course, we have our little parkway over here. But we're not going to deal with that just yet until the later industrial districts kick in. Again, there's some stuff over here. Really valuable stuff that'll really send our bank account flying. At this point, we can basically do a whole bunch of things, like, say, put in a small, another little waterfront park to join up with Pearl Garden. Have a nice little waterfront bridge. Put in some, like, tourist attractions and have, like, a own little, small little enclave. Now, keep in mind, I don't want to build this out too much because somewhere around here, our train lane's got to cut across. So, unfortunately, we do have to deal with that. Speaking of dealing, it'd be nice if I didn't have to deal with these all the time. These all love to seem to get transferred, I guess, for some weird reason. Anyways. But, yes. That's the general idea here for this. So, we basically have our suburb almost set up. And then, inevitably, what's going to have to happen is... One of these roads will come across. I believe I have to put it underneath the highway, which is correct. Well, actually, I can have it go over. So what we'll do, and we'll set this up and deal with it some other time. Say right around here. Do that. Oh, sweet. We can upgrade Mickey Park. Awesome. We'll do that in just a second. Just do that. And then have another main road, say, split off around here. Run off perpendicular. Pretty much parallel to our highway, or almost. We're close enough. Not perfect. <laughs> Anyways. And that'll be the start of our other little community that's over here. So that'll be kind of the whole deal. So they have like two little small communities going. Um, I see our commercial zone is pretty much filled up, as well as our industry. It, it kind of shook the whole thing off. So let me build this up. Finish this part of the, this episode with a few more commercial buildings over here. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll do this part too. Why not? The office workers got to have some space. Do like a small little buffer zone and be... Well... 
that'll work. And then I'll just fill in the rest with industry over here. We'll build in and we'll continue filling in our office park like such. Um, yeah, kind of the same deal. We'll do a nice little commercial buffer, say, over here. And then a residential buffer over here. So the hope is that this fills out. And then finally, because I completely neglected this, because, you know, reasons, we need elementary, we need some schooling. We'll provide more amenities as time rolls on, but yeah, we gotta get some more schooling over here. So one for this end. And then I like this high school a lot better because it's definitely a lot smaller. There we go. We'll expand those out as time rolls on. This spot, we can kind of use it as open space. I could always make like a small little park zone on one of these things. But that won't show up till much later on. And actually, I can get rid of the unsightly power lines now. There we go. That's going to help some land values out a little bit. For those, I'm sure everybody will love not living next to power lines. And there you go. That is basically how we're starting off our new residential area. Oh, I forgot two spots. Hang on. Fill in the blanks here for a minute because we had all those power lines just simply go away. And there we go. Oh, and they're complaining about lack of trash services, of course. Of course you would. Why not? Oh, silly me. I forgot one final thing. Um, That's kind of disturbing. Um, Final thing, too. I was going to connect both of these, and this will be how we end the episode, I guess. Right around here. I suppose we'll build a tunnel. There we go. Kind of the tunnel underneath the city, and it kind of connects our two districts. So we're not going to... The highway doesn't really do us any favors and kind of di leave both disconnected. So that'll be the only two ones we ha we can do. Actually, I should upgrade those. Especially since they're kind of like key to our city, basically. Nope. Oh, hang on. I was wondering why it wouldn't let me demolish underground over here. I'm going to have to hit that button. All right, hold on a second. Let me just finish this up real quick. That is definitely not what I wanted to be doing. That's a little silly. Um, we cannot build over there. Okay. Oh, that's... Uh, oh, now I see where I was going to build from. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to create, like... Ah, we're going to have enough highway exits as is. That's fine. There we go. Now we'll have, like, another connection here. Kind of like a broad street tunnel. And, oh my god, what happened here? What on earth happened to the... Wow, that did not take very long for the city to just fill up like that. Oh my god, okay. Well, this is where we're going to be where we leave off, kind of. I'll leave the city as is, as it stands, but generally speaking, yeah. So I'm going to wander off camera and try to get us over to the next level, which shouldn't be too far off. And we need 65,000 and we got 50, so... Might be able to do it with this, with not. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching this ninth episode. Uh, much appreciated. Of course, don't forget to get those like and subscribe buttons. But it's not like, you know, you knew that already. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.